to be. We call her the soap lady because uh, she is what we call an adipocered body. And adipocir is a waxy, tallowy, soapy like substance. So now she's a bit of a mystery. An adipocere does two things. It physically forms a protective barrier around the body, but secondly, and perhaps most importantly, insects don't like the way adipocere tastes. And if they don't like the way you taste, they're not going to aid in that natural decomposition process. And that's why she's so relatively well preserved. What we're doing tonight is bring technology that has been developed over the past 20 years to produce the best images available today. We're going to be using Polaroid photographic film. We're going to be using industrial x-ray plates that were intended for industry. And the reason we're going to do this, we're going to get better detail. That's good. Medical imaging plates were developed for hydrated living individuals. There's no water in the soap lady's body at all. X-ray, x-ray, x-ray. So we have to find another technology. And the one that works best is industrial imaging technology. I'm not seeing anything that um, you see on an older individual. I want to look at all her weight-bearing joints because given how heavy she was, I'm really surprised I'm not seeing more degeneration. And we're at, coupled with the fact that her bones are fairly robust. X-ray, X-ray. So you'd see yeah. one or the, you, you know, I'm, I'd be expecting to see one or the other. Like if she were, if she were a rich, relatively sedentary woman, if she didn't move around much and sat down most of the time, okay, fine, she might not have too much degeneration, but then her bones wouldn't be as, as in good shape as they are, right? But if she was an active woman, even if she was moving around with all that girth, why am I not seeing any degeneration on her acetabulums and on her femoral heads? That's the mystery. And yet she's toothless. Right.